What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I know I look really rough right now. I haven't been doing much been in my room um, for, for weeks. I lie, it wasn't for weeks, but then there was this one day that I went out to do a shoot. So before I hop into the video, I just wanna talk about why I went out to, to shoot that day and um, the aim of the whole thing, like what we were planning to do. I, said, I say we because um, I was out with my friend uh, Dania her name is gonna be Summer. And um, yeah, we went to, it's still within my school campus. But what we wanted to do was to see if we can get um, really cool photos using the iPhone 7. So, so if you see this, this is not even the newest iPhone. This is like the, there's like the iPhone 11 Pro Max Plus X uh, Lite. So that phone, is probably a lot better for photos and videos and everything but i'm gonna try to use this because this is what i have so i'm gonna try to use this to get um fairly good images we just went out to like this location shooting different things we shot some some of the spring flowers we shot some portraits so i'm gonna hop right into the video and then you guys at the end of the video i'm gonna show you all the pictures and you guys can let me know what you think and I'll talk a little bit about um, about the photos and what I like and what I don't like about the um, the photo quality. So, hopping right to the video, let's go. Okay, so this is way too slow. Let's pick up the pace now. All right guys, so here are some of the photos that I took with the iPhone 7. And as you can see, like these are pretty decent. Like I have to say they look quite good. I'm just gonna put a couple of them side by side with the photos that I took with the digital camera. And, and then I, as you can see, like there's definitely a difference between the digital camera and the iPhone 7, but I feel like the iPhone 7 still passes. It's, I feel it still does a solid job for the fact that this is a mobile phone. Okay, so some of my like, favorite ones include this one. This one was shot not with the, I didn't use the portrait mode for this. I used the wide angle, the widest angle that the iPhone 7 has. 
and I was able to get this so really like the composition of this it's actually a very well composed image uh, if I do say so myself <laughs> but the um, the photo quality as well is like really good so you can really see the detail and then the colors the way the whole thing comes together it's, it's really amazing and another photo that I like is this really simple but then um, you know sometimes the iPhone 7 when you're using the portrait mode doesn't really um, align the subject up very well there are some times that if you have like a very busy background and then there's lots of things going on the iPhone 7 might not recognize that as a background and kind of keep that in focus when it's supposed to be out of focus but then with a little bit of tweaks here and there you can kind of mask it kind of hide it so it's not too obvious yeah that was like a really fun challenge and if you like the video give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe hit the notification bell lots of things to do i understand but it means a lot to me if you do that if you want to see more of these kind of videos just uh, let me know in the comment section below and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace